still encourage using plastic? I don't, I don't think I ever really did. I just made maybe a couple videos about it. I think uh, there's a place for plastic. There's a place. Plastic used the right way is a good debt tool. Or I should say a good service. It's not really a tool. Uh, it's, not, it's not a debt tool, plas plastique, right? Plastic, whatever it is. Um, so it's not exactly uh, a debt tool, but it's a way to pull cash out of credit and pay a lower fee. In many cases, it's better than doing the traditional balance transfer. So say your balance transfer fee on a credit card is 4%, but at plastic it's 2.5. So you are saving money. And then it runs through the card as a purchase. So let's say you're getting 3% cash back on an online purchase. You run it as an online purchase you actually net a 5%. You go from paying 4%, now you're at positive 0.5%. So that is a winner winner chicken dinner. Okay? Can I get my line of credit limit higher? Um, yes, by simply calling the bank and asking, asking, do I qualify? What are the requirements to get approved for a higher credit limit? Do you offer higher credit limits on the line of credit? Some banks will allow you to apply, but if they're not even offering a higher credit limit at the point in time, then you just wasted an inquiry. It's okay. Are we assuming an all-in-one loan is equal to an interest-only first position HELOC? If so, Union Bank will do this for your primary residence. I would say, you know, almost a yes. That an all-in-one loan and a HELOC in the first position are very similar. The difference is with an all-in-one loan, you get charged interest like a credit card. So you only get charged interest on the due date, which means that every time you make a payment into the all-in-one loan prior to the due date, it all goes to principal. And then on the due date, you pay whatever the interest rate is on that balance for that day which could end up being actually less than a HELOC. So for Jonathan, you could evaluate a first and an all-in-one loan before you make a move. I've used Velocity Banking to get both my husband and my credit up to over 800 and acquired a credit card that works like a line of credit through our credit union for both my husband and I. 5.4%, 30K and started investing. So Jennifer brings up a really good good point that I missed about credit cards. So credit cards typically, most of them, you can't pay your mortgage with it, right? Typically most credit cards will not allow you to pay your mortgage, your car payment, your rent, you know, certain insurances, things like that. But there are some credit cards that exist in the marketplace that function, right? Just like Jennifer was saying, that function just like a line of credit. Meaning, you can take your checking account and send your income all to the credit card, and then you can swipe your credit card to pay bills that can be paid with the credit card, and then the bills that typically are not allowed to be paid with a credit card, you can make a withdrawal back to your checking account and that pays the bill. But when you make a withdrawal from your credit card, no fee. It's like a regular balance transfer. It's like you're writing convenience checks to your checking account. So there's no cash advance fee. So no, you're not doing a cash advance because cash advance have fees. Plus, Jennifer just said 5.4%. Earlier I said anything below 7 on a PLOC is amazing. You give me 5.4, my God, we're moving. We're moving fast. And she said 30K credit limit. I mean, most PLOCs don't even go to 30, right? By then you got to be at a HELOC. So this, this is a fantastic tool, fantastic tool, fantastic.